This is the before and after the shower. I'm going to show you guys how to make your hair straight with no heat. <laughs> Brooklyn here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I'm sending you lots of love in these hard times. Hopefully this all dies down soon and we can get back to normal life. I know I definitely miss going out to restaurants. Other than that, I kind of like being inside, not gonna lie. But I do like going for my walks and I've still been able to do that so I'm in luck. I clap my hands a lot in videos, I've noticed as well. Like all the time, I'm like, ha. <laughs> but I hope you're all safe and you're all staying really productive in these hard times. And like I said, I'm sending you so much love. So to keep you entertained today, I am back with another hair tutorial. And I thought that I would take advantage of my really disgusting hair that's going on up here. It's like a bird's nest, but you haven't seen anything until I take it out. So I'm like, put your glasses on and get ready because definitely a sight but before we get on with the video make sure you click the subscribe button if you like what you see make sure you also give it a big thumbs up because it really helps out my channel turn on my post notifications so you always get notified when I upload a new video but in today's video this Kelly girl is gonna be showing you how to make your hair straight with no heat what no heat yes well, at least very low heat. Extremely low heat that it's pretty much air, if you know what I'm saying. I've only been wearing my hair naturally curly in my adult life for the past year. Prior to that, I literally used to straighten my hair all the time. As you can see, I'm gonna put like multiple photos here for you guys to see. It was really, really long. I loved straightening it. No, I didn't love straightening it. I definitely loved having my hair straight. You can put your fingers through, it's just beautiful. With this, you can't really do that. My hair is also very gross and dry because it literally sits in that bum all day because I'm producing music and singing and I'm literally in this room. So, you know, why would I try to take care of my hair? What's the use? What's the purpose of it? But I did want to show you guys how gross it is for a before and after. And so you guys can see how frizzy my hair is, how coarse my hair is, and how much of it I have. So you know what you're in for to see the results from like crazy frizzy ball of hair ball. Beautifully straight with no heat damage. Oh dear. I should really be trying to do a, hair to a curly hair tutorial today. Anyway, so this is the before. This is my, my gross, one week, not washed. Can't even put my hands through because I've really not been looking after it, as you can see. Like, there's no, there's no making this better unless I wash it. It's just, it's gross. Oh, look at it. I'm so sorry. I apologize. In saying that, my hair is bleached. Yes, it feels really dry. Yes, it looks dry to you right now. But normally, like, I take a lot of care of my hair. I don't put heat on it. I only dye it once a year. Once a year. The last hairdresser I went to ruined it. So really sad about that. But I really do look after my hair and that's the whole point of this video. I really hope that you can take something from it today and because my hair's fucked right now. Maybe you guys will stop using heat after I show you my little magic tool and what I do to make my hair straight with no heat. But I thought I would share it with you guys today because why not? And that's what this platform is for. So... Let's go wash this baby and I'll see you when I come out of the shower. Hello. We are now out of the shower as you can tell. This feeling is the best feeling in the world after really dirty hair. Comment down below if you agree because like this for me is like heaven. On with the how do I make my hair straight without heat damage. I haven't put heat on my hair since September last year. And I think before that, maybe like April? No. Yeah, I think before that was probably like March, the last time I put heat on my hair. I haven't put heat on my hair in a while. So this is my hair out of the shower. And it looks really dry already because of this beautiful guy, the microfiber towel, game changer, 
Everyone, invest in a microfiber towel. Best thing you will ever buy. Really good for your hair. Reduces frizz. Get on to it. I have a lot of people always message me being like, your hair's not frizzy, what do you do? Number one thing you should be buying, microfiber towel or a bamboo towel. Great for your hair. Honestly, it dries it so quick. And as you can see, mine's already getting a little wavy. Okay, so the two things that you're going to need for this hairstyle, which is just straight hair, it's very basic. But like I said, we are not using any heat, at least not damaging heat on your hair. An anti-frizz hair serum by Giovanni Cosmetics. Frizz be gone. And... <laughs> Focus. And I absolutely love it. The link is in my description if you guys want to go and get this Frisbee Gone Giovanni Cosmetic Serum. I highly recommend it. I've tried so many oils, so many serums, and I really like this one. So jump on it. So this is the first thing you're going to be needing. Or any oil or serum that you have, but that's the one that I love. You're going to need a comb or a brush. If your hair is naturally straight, then go for a brush. Uh, my hair's already drying, so like a comb is probably better for me. But I do comb my hair in the shower and I always have since I was a little girl because that's what my mama told me. I've never really brushed my hair growing up. It's always just been combing because the brush made my hair really frizzy growing up so we always used to comb. But as you can see my uh, waviness is going down but you want to do this first thing when you get out of the shower and your hair is drying off. Typically if you've got curly hair like me, this is the tutorial for you. Okay, I'm wearing my thong, so I apologize if you guys hear. Not my underwear. <laughs> Just realized North America don't call shoes thongs. I've definitely got thongs on my feet. Flip flops, whatever you guys call them. And the last two things you're gonna need is a Dyson generated by Air Babes. Generated by air. And the highest degrees it goes to is 100 degrees Celsius, which is okay and is healthy for your hair. So technically, you're not really burning your hair. And the attachment you're going to need, which is not available in Australia, but it is available in North America, is this wide tooth comb. It's literally a game changer. If you have a Dyson and you have curly hair, get this attachment. I literally bought one from Canada and took it to my sister because I was like, you need this in your life. Don't know if she's used it. I don't know what the retail price is. It might be like $65, I think. But it is totally worth it and you can literally comb through your hair. So that's what we're pretty much going to be doing. But I am going to section it off. And if you do want to see the results, then make sure you stay watching. Just going to section the hair off. Like so. Great. Perfect. Now we are going to apply some of our serum. Not too much. That's probably too much. That was, that was so silly. So silly. Let's just put some up there. Honestly, this makes my hair so soft, this serum. It's the best. If you guys love and are interested in all the products that I show you guys in my video, then click on the link down below to my Amazon favorites. I've got all of my curly hair products that I use in there along with curly hair tools. I've got everything in there. If you guys like the things that I use, then go and check out my Amazon favorites and you might find something that you like in there too. Okay, so after applying the serum, we're going to go straight in. Without da, 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 Dyson. You don't want to wait too long. You want your hair to be wet, you know? And literally, this is all you do. So there is three heat settings on the Dyson. I normally use the highest one on both sides when I am diffusing. When I am doing my hair straight, I normally alternate between medium heat to high heat and medium air to high air. Because I am running my fingers through my hair at the same time, I just had it on low heat. When you are going close to the scalp, you do want to go on very low heat. So as you, as you can see, I have it on no heat right now, but high air, but I normally have it on there.
So this side's done. And I actually love the results of this. Like, my hair would obviously go a little more straight with a straightener, but you are also putting like, what, 275 degrees Celsius on your hand. Not healthy. Then we're gonna section it off again. This is the way I get the best results with the Dyson. I'm just gonna repeat the steps with the serum. Oh, that was my piano. Go through the hair. And then we keep going. back of the hair so with the attachment you can turn it and then you can go straight down this way and there you have it <laughs> so this literally just took me 15 minutes to do it looks so silky and shiny I don't know if you guys can see the lighting's not the best but my hair is pretty dead straight. I mean, for me, this is straight and I used to straighten my hair all the time. So I think I know like what straight hair is. So these are the results of what my hair looks like. Straight with no heat and no heat damage. I know a lot of people are gonna comment if, they, if I get any comment. I think, oh my God, the Dyson is so much money. I can't afford it. Honestly, if you do have the money or you can save the money to get one, it is one of the best things you will spend your money on. It is such a great tool, specifically if you have curly hair and you are trying to reduce your heat use on your hair. I highly recommend it. My hair is extremely healthy. I mean, like it's completely dyed as you can see, but it is very healthy and I hope that you guys really enjoyed watching me use my little wide tooth comb with my Dyson. It's literally one of my favorite little tools that I have and I couldn't go a day without my Dyson. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so I'm glad that I could share. Oh my God, I'm like obsessed with my hair right now. A little closer so you can see the frizz and how straight it is. Most of the time I was actually using the lowest heat setting and I just want to show you the lowest heat setting. I could literally blow on my face and it's like not hot. Oh wait, that's the high seat setting. Like... It's right on my face. Didn't hurt at all, like I could stay there for hours on it. But I'm glad that I could share my little healthy hair hack tip with you guys today with using no heat on my very curly, damaged, bleached, blonde hair. And I hope that maybe, and hopefully after this video, you'll reduce your heat usage on your hair because trust me, because I was one that used to 
straighten my hair all the time and now I look back and I'm like I really wish that I found the Dyson earlier or got it earlier and stopped putting heat on my hair because it just feels so much better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you try making your hair straight without any heat just like I did today. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in as always. Sending you all so much love and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.